We can get Rogan on if you want. Nicholas, come on down. We've got one of you. Come on. Yep, we're all ready to go. There we go. Row it. Row it, Sharma. Nicholas Puran from the West Indies. Baba Azam, captain of Pakistan. He is. Welcome, Baba. Richie Barrington from Scotland. South African captain Temba Bavuma. Craig Irvine from Zimbabwe, Andrew Balburni from Ireland, and last but certainly not least, Shakib Al Hassan from Bangladesh. Welcome to you guys. So you know the, the standard now, so get ready for a little bit of a grilling from the audience, but I will start as well. I'm going to start with you, Richie. Um, a little bit light on in terms of T20 internationals over the last little bit, but some seriously good form in the 50 over formats. That combined with the success from just 12 months ago must have uh, you guys feeling pretty confident. Yeah, definitely. Um, we had a, a couple of good fixtures uh, during the home summer against New Zealand this year which is really useful, obviously, to come up against um, a strong New Zealand team, something we certainly took a lot of learnings from. And, yeah, obviously, I think we can take a lot of confidence from the, the white ball cricket we've played this year, um, certainly in a strong position in terms of the, the one-day stuff. And I think the guys, yeah, after last year's World Cup, we're, we're really looking forward to this one, and hopefully we can build on, on some of the, the performances we had last year. I just mentioned that Melbourne's sort of like a home away from home for Sri Lanka. Hobart for Scotland would feel pretty good too, won't it? Yeah, sounds like it. Um, a few of us were there in 2015 and really enjoyed our time there. So, yeah, we're looking forward to getting down there and, and getting started. I believe there's quite a few Scottish fans down that way. So, yeah, it should be, should be good fun. Enjoy. Uh, Nicholas, for you, uh, as the, the opposition in the, the first round down there, I talked about the weight of expectation for a tournament. Aaron Finch is, will certainly feel it as captain of Australia. Robert feels it with, was it 1.6 billion people cheering you guys on? For you, though, you, you've missed a, a few of the legends of the game. It's a new team. How are you handling that expectation from back home? Um, to be honest, I don't feel like there's a lot of pressure. Um, honestly, we believe that you know, we are a new group of guys, yes, we, we have a rich history when it comes to T20 cricket, but in all fairness, these guys just started to represent West Indies, and it's only fair that you know, we start at the bottom. I think we have the hard way to the, hard, the, the toughest way to the World Cup, and the guys understand that. Um, I keep telling these guys, it may be a blessing in disguise for us to start in the qualifiers first. Obviously, we, obviously, everyone knows when you want something, you have to work really hard for it. But Yes, we want to qualify and obviously there's some pressure as well, but the guys are not thinking, of, thinking about that. We just want to focus on ourselves and try to play the best cricket we can. Brilliant. Looking forward to, to seeing you guys during the T20 Men's World Cup. We're going to follow the same order. So before I throw open to the audience, we've got our UNICEF ambassador all ready to go. There's a little bit of nerves early doors, but I think he'll settle down into this absolutely beautiful as well. So Yahin, you have your first question for Robert Sharma. Thanks so much, Mel. And the pressure is only for 1.6 billion people watching me ask their captain a question. Uh, Rohit, my question to you is, as a father to a young daughter yourself, what role, do the, what role do you think the 16 captains here today play in inspiring more children to get involved in the sport, especially young girls? Yeah, I think we play a big part in that. Uh, I think it's important uh, all of us are uh, ambassadors in their own way. Uh, so. You know, it's important for us uh, to carry ourselves and uh, lead by an example to show the world, especially the kids, um, you know, because we want our next generation to follow the sport and play the sport at the same time as well. Uh, it's a wonderful sport and we all encourage, uh, uh, you know, our next generation to come forward and take up the sport. Eventually, that's what we want. We want uh, to make, a, uh, make this sport a uh, you know, uh, as global as we can uh, and reach out to as many countries as possible. Wonderful answer. Okay, I'm going to throw it up into the audience now as well. Sort of same sort of approach as we did last time as well. So front row on the end there. Oh. We can get a microphone across. Okay. Oh. Uh, sorry, there's already, uh, sorry. Yep, uh, one with the microphone. I'll come back to you on the second one. Uh, hi, this is Mohammed Adnan from Pakistan. Uh, my question is from Babar Azam. Um, by the way, guys, it's Babar Azam's birthday, so uh, a very happy birthday, Babar Azam. Uh, thank you, thank you so much. 
then I'll ask the question uh, in Urdu. Babar, uh, Shaheen and uh, Fakhar are back in the team. Both are back from injury. So, they don't have match practice, nahi, obviously. So, do we see them playing in the warm-up matches, warm -up matches mein especially or, uh, against India uh, in that uh, you know, all-important match? Uh, definitely, as uh, Shaheen came back and uh, Fakhar came back, uh, before the uh, first match, we have a six-day and two uh, practice games. So, we are utilized that uh, uh, in uh, these two matches, we will also utilize them. Uh, Shaheen especially, who is here and who is fully fit and who is uh, full dedication to playing and who always gives his 100% and gives his effort. So, inshallah, I'm uh, looking forward to the see in the play. Thanks, Baba. Uh, yes, next Hi. in the front row. Uh, Sushant Mehta here from Sports Yari India. Rohit, you have a question for you. Batting is also on the right time and in the form. In the bowling department, there are a lot of injuries because of the injury. There was a boomer before the injury, before Ravindra Chadeja was injured. Now, last moment, Mohamed Shami came. So, Shami, tell us about Shami's brother. How much positive it looks. And going into the big game versus Pakistan, how confident are you of the bowling side of India? Look, the injury... Injury is part and parcel of the sport. Uh, there is nothing much can be done about it. Uh, uh, because if you have so injuries will uh, But that's why our focus in the last year was that the bench strength is strength we have to make. That's why you have seen that wherever we got the opportunity, we have played the new girls. और जहाँ तक शमी की बात है, obviously उनको दो तीन हफ्ते पहले कोविड हो गया था, तो घर में थे, अपने फार्म में बैठे थे, और उनको फिर एनसीए बुलाना पड़ा, एनसीए में आए वो, और एनसीए में काफी मेहनत कर रहे थे, पिछले दस दिनों से काफी मेहनत कर रहे थे, और अभी ब्रिस्बेन आ चुके हैं, टीम के साथ इंडियन ट so we will practice with the team. Whatever we have heard about in Shami, it is very positive that their recovery after COVID was very good. And after 3-4 bowling sessions, they have been able to play with full intensity. So all in all, everything is good and Shami is good. And the whole team is good. But again, after the injury, like I said, there is a lot of good things in the team. But again, after the injury, like I said, we have tried to manage the player management करने की पिछले एक सालों में, but unfortunate हो जाता है कभी-कभी, there is not much you can do about it, but इसीलिए हमारा हमेशा से focus ये था कि हमें जो पीछे लड़के हैं, उनको तैयार करना है, उनको मौका देना है, और हमें पता था कि injury कभी भी हो सकती है, तो इसीलिए हमारा constant focus था कि जो पीछे वाले लड़के, उनको games दिया जाए, games खिलाया जाए, उनको back किया जाए so, as many of our bowlers in the World Cup, they have played a lot of matches. It's not that they have played one or two matches. So, this was our focus. And I think we got a little bit of success. Thanks, Robert. Microphone at the front here. Ijaz Ahmed. Thank you. That's the... I'll be asking in Urdu. Akil Sayyad from Airway News, Pakistan. Baba, what do you think that from Fakhar to Fakhar and your... जो कंग्रेट्यूलेशन बाद है ट्राई सीरीज जीतने पे तो आपका वो जो मिडल ऑर्डर प्रॉब्लम था मिडल ऑर्डर बैट्समैन का वो अब आपने सॉल्व कर लिए देखें काफी फर्क पड़ेगा और जिस ना ट्रायंगल सीरीज के लिए हमने न्यूजीलैंड में और बिफोर द वर्ल्ड कप वी हैव अ गुड सीरीज इन न्यूजीलैंड एंड � we will try to take the momentum to the World Cup. Look at the middle order. They have performed in the last two matches. Before the World Cup, when you get such performances as a team, you get a lot of confidence. I believe that our middle order will perform. They are doing the back. They are playing the IFT. Especially Nawaz. जिसने उसने उसने इनिंग्स के लिए और उससे पहले शदाब ने खेली है तो ये चिपिन मिडल ऑर्डर्स कर रहे हैं तो बिफोर द वर्ल्ड कप इस गुड साइन फॉर अस हेलो हाय जाज़ मैं फ्रॉम ओडू पॉइंट नेटवर्क पाकिस्तान 
बाबर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आपको बहुत बहुत मुबारकबाद हैप्पी बर्थडे मेरा क्वेश्चन आपसे ये है दो हिस्से हैं मेरे क्वेश्चन के फर्स्ट ये कि आपके पास अब शाहीन शाह फरीदी हैं पेसर्स में नसीम शाह हैं हारिस रऊफ़ हैं जो डेप्थ में बहुत अच्छे अवर्स करते हैं हुसनैन भी हैं क्या आप समझते हैं कि आपके पास इस वक्त इस टूर्नामेंट में वर्ल्ड बेस्ट पेसर स्क्वाड आपके पास है और मेरे क्वेश्चन का दूसरा हिस्सा है कि पहला ही मैच आपका इंडिया के अगेंस्ट है एक बड़ा मैच है प्रेशर भी होता है लेकिन पिछले एक साल में आप दो दफ़ा इंडिया से जीत चुके हैं तो कितना आप कॉन्फिडेंट हैं पहले मैच के लिए देखें पाकिस्तान ने ऑलवेज फास्ट बॉलर बनाए हैं और सॉरी इंट्रोड्यूस करवाए हैं और जिस तरह हमारे पास फास्ट बॉलर लॉट है वो काफ़ी स्ट्रॉन्ग है और शहीन के आने से और स्ट्रॉन्ग हो जाएगी और जिस तरह आ, हमारे बेंच स्टैंड जो थे वो भी आ, अच्छी बॉलिंग कर रहे हैं और तो मैचेस में आपने देखा है कि हम डिफरेंट कम्बिनेशन के साथ मैच खेलते रहे हैं और उन्होंने परफॉर्म किया और जिस तरह हारिस हारिस ने अपनी आ, बॉलिंग को इम्प्रूव किया डे बाय डे डेथ में और न्यू बॉल के साथ तो ये हमारे पास अपॉर्चुनिटी है एज अ फास्ट बॉलर्स कि हम आ, आ, दिखाएं कि हमारे पास स्किल्स हैं और हमारे पास डिफरेंट प्लेयर्स हैं कि हम डिफरेंट कम्बिनेशन के साथ जा सकते हैं और बिल्कुल देखें जब आप इंडिया के साथ मैच खेलते हैं तो वो हा ऑलवेज हाई इंटेंसिटी वाला मैच होता है और फैंस भी इस चीज़ को वेट करते हैं तो इन ऑन 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 फील्ड हम इस चीज़ को काफ़ी इंजॉय करते हैं कोशिश करते हैं कि ऑन द डे अच्छी क्रिकेट खेलें और हंड्रेड परसेंट दें इधर रोहित सुनंदन ले लें नमस्कार रोहित सवाल पूछना चाहता हूँ कि इंडिया हो पाकिस्तान हो हम सोचते हैं कि ये प्लेयर इंजोर्ड हो गए हैं ये नहीं है वो नहीं है लेकिन क्या ये इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं लगता आपको कि कौन खेल रहा है ऐसे ज़्यादा जो खेल रहे हैं वो कैसा खेल रहे हैं जी बिल्कुल देखिए जैसे मैंने बताया कि इंजरीज होती रहती है ज़्यादा फोकस और डिसअपॉइंटमेंट दिखा नहीं सकते आप उसको उस चीज़ को लेकर फोक आ, आगे क्या करना है वो उसके बारे में ज़्यादा सोचने की ज़रूरत है तो जैसे मैंने इसके पहले भी बताया कि हमने मौका दिया लड़कों को जब जब मिला और उन्होंने अच्छा करके दिखाया हमें तो लाइक यू सेड क्लियरली इम्पॉर्टेंट होगा हमारे लिए कि जो हमारे पास है लड़के उनसे हम अच्छा प्रदर्शन निकलवाए उन उनको मोटिवेट करें उनको हेल्प करें और इस इससे ज़्यादा आप कुछ कर नहीं सकते आई थिंक हम और अच्छी तरीके से प्रेप कर सकते हो तो हमारा एक कांस्टेंट एफर्ट था यहाँ पर ऑस्ट्रेलिया में जल्दी आकर थोड़ा सा कंडीशंस यूज टू करना और प्रैक्टिस करना दो प्रैक्टिस मैच खेले हमने पर्थ में और दो अभी भी है बचे हुए तो आई थिंक गेम ट्वेंटी थर्ड को जब गेम है उसके पहले तक हमारी प्रेपरेशन अच्छी तरीके से हो जाएगी जो भी लड़के खेलने वाले उनको आइडिया क्लियरली हमने दे के रखा हुआ है तो लास्ट मिनट डिसीजन वाला लास्ट मिनट वाले डिसीजन पे मैं बिलीव नहीं करता हूँ आई थिंक इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट कि जो भी आपके लड़के खेलने वाले हैं उनको पहले से आप इन्फॉर्मेशन दे के रखो ताकि वो अपने तरीके से प्रिपेयर करें Then the front there. Like swapped I across. So, um, <laughs> a question for Craig, um, if I could. I know you weren't here for the one-day series because of injury, but that win Zimbabwe we got against Australia in the last game, plus what you've been able to do at home this season, how much confidence does that give you in the squad you've got that you can go well at this tournament? Yeah, look, you know, we've obviously had you know great preparation leading up to this tournament, um, and I think you know the performances against uh, Bangladesh at home. You know some good performances against India as well, and then obviously beating Australia here in Australia. You know has given us some great momentum going into the tournament. Um, we also played at Hobart before, you know, in 2015, along with um, Ireland and Scotland. Hey, बड़े हैं मेरे से और मैं इनसे कोशिश करता हूँ इनसे एक्सपीरियंस लूँ क्योंकि इन्होंने इतना सर्व किया हुआ है और कोशिश करते हैं कि जो चीजें सीखी जाएँ वो अच्छा हमारे लिए. Roy, आप नहीं जैसे बाबर ने बोला इट इज एब्सोल्युटली राइट वी अंडरस्टैंड द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ ऑफ द गेम बट दिस नो पॉइंट जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट इट एवरी टाइम एंड क्रिएटिंग दैट प्रेशर विद इन योर सेल्फ सो हम लोग आपस में जब भी मिलते हैं एशिया कप में मिले uh, uh, अभी मिले बस घर में क्या हालचाल है फैमिली uh, uh, कैसी है 
बस उस चीज़ के बारे में हम बात करते हैं और जितने भी इनके टीममेट से मैं मिला हूँ हमारी आपस में यही बातचीत होती रहती है पिछले जनरेशन जो हमारे पहले जनरेशन में खेले हुए लोग हैं उन्होंने भी हमें बताया था कि आपस में यू नो घर घर के बारे में बातचीत होती है लाइफ कैसी है कौन सी नई गाड़ी खरीदी है कौन सी नई गाड़ी खरीदने वाले हो ये सब बात होती है I'm going to have to work on my Hindi and Urdu and for the next one I think uh, down okay. the front and then yep. at the back guys uh, welcome to all you captains you are looking so great like so much rivalry so much competition all together on one stage aur rohit aapka hardik swagat babar saab ka bhi hardik swagat aur aapki team mein to hardik hai hi to koi dikkat nahi hai mere do questions hain number 1 ki superman bumrah ki jagah pe kya aapko do superman batters chahiye honge number 1 aur number 2 kya is bar aap suri kumar yadav ka sitara chamkega वो नंबर वन बन जाएंगे और आपके एक्स फैक्टर रहेंगे क्या दो क्वेश्चन आपसे मेरा नाम दीप्ति मान मैं रेडियो थ्री ट्रिपल जेड से हूँ बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद आपने चार पांच सवाल पूछ लिए अभी मैं तो भूल गया हूँ बट जहाँ तक बुमराह की बात है ऑब्वियसली देखो क्वालिटी बोलर है इतने साल से हमारे लिए अच्छा करते आ रहे हैं अनफॉर्चुनेटली जैसे मैंने अभी मैं बात उसी बारे में बात करा था कि इंजरीज होती है आप आप कुछ कर नहीं सकते हमने काफ़ी स्पेशलिस्ट और काफ़ी लोगों से बात की उनके इंजरी को लेकर बट uh, uh, कोई अच्छा रिस्पांस uh, नहीं आया क्योंकि uh, जी बिल्कुल ये वर्ल्ड कप इम्पॉर्टेंट है बट उनका करियर uh, हमारे लिए ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट है क्योंकि अभी सत्ताईस अट्ठाईस साल के ही है काफ़ी क्रिकेट पड़ी है उनके सामने तो हमें हम ऐसे रिस्क नहीं ले सकते और ये जितने भी स्पेशलिस्ट से हमने बात की उनका भी यही सजेशन था आगे काफ़ी क्रिकेट है काफ़ी खेलेंगे काफ़ी मैचेस भी जिताएंगे इंडिया को बट यस उनकी जो कमी है वो बिल्कुल खलेगी देर इज़ नो डाउट अबाउट इट और जहाँ तक सूर्य का सवाल है अभी देखिए अच्छे फॉर्म में है अच्छा बैटिंग कर रहे हैं Uh, I hope he continues to bat in that fashion because it's important for us कि middle order में uh, वो अच्छे तरीके से batting करे uh, और काफ़ी confident player है जब भी खेलते uh, fearlessly खेलते uh, अपनी पूरी जो skill set है वो पूरी तरीके से use करते हाँ uh, तो I hope uh, वो uh, X factor बने but मैं वो ही नहीं मैं तो चाहता हूँ सारे लोग ही बने <laughs> वो मुश्किल होगा बट आई होप दैट ही कंटिन्यूज इज गुड फॉर्म इन द वर्ल्ड कप ऑल्सो थैंक यू जस्ट अपैक हियर ऑन द फार लेफ्ट थैंक्स मेल जॉनथन हीली फ्रॉम एंगेज हियर गॉट अ क्वेश्चन फॉर आर टीम ऑफ बवुमा अम ऑब्वियसली वेरी डिसअपॉइंटिंग टू लूज टू एंटोरियस टू आर इंजरी इन द लास्ट कपल ऑफ वीक्स बट यू हैव गॉट अ प्रीटी हैंडी रिप्लेसमेंट इन मार्को जेंसन व्हाट आर योर एक्सपेक्टेशंस ऑफ व्हाट ही कैन कम इन एंड डू Yeah, Mark was obviously a, is um a big addition for us. Um he obviously comes in the extra bit of pace. He's a left arm option as well that gives us a bit more variety in our bowling attack. Um and he comes at a quite a steep um length as well. So I'm excited to see to see Mark up in the squad. You know, he's been chomping at the bit looking for his opportunity. So I guess we're excited to see um how much value he can add within the team. Ten up back yep. Right here one for you as someone who was part of the 2007 tournament the first T20 World Cup like how much different is the game now how much differently do you approach it think about it um prepare for it to what you would have done for that first tournament and I suppose as a as a young player back then Yeah I mean it's been a long time uh 2007 uh I mean when I when I was picked for that World Cup I literally uh didn't go with any expectations uh, uh about myself not the team uh, i just wanted to enjoy the tournament uh, play the tournament uh because that was my first ever world cup uh, so i had no understanding of what is it like to be part of the world cup and you know how big it is going to be until we won the world cup uh, you know and uh, yeah uh, and from there till now it's been a long journey um you know the game has evolved so much uh, that you can literally see how you know how it's being played now compared to what it was in 2007 uh, you know uh, 140 150 was 
was a good score uh, back then and now you know people try and get that score in 14 15 overs uh, uh, and yeah it's just that you know the teams have become more fearless they you know have started to take a lot of risk uh, without worrying about the result which i think is a good good way uh, to play this kind of format um, and yeah it is something that our team uh, is also trying to do uh, because you know you uh, this is a kind of format where there is risk but you know there's literally high rewards as well uh, so you've got to be brave enough to take those risks uh, and certainly will be prepared to do that as well uh, you know and so I think that's that's my understanding from 2007 to 22 uh, you know a lot of things have changed obviously uh, but yeah it, it's been a it's been a good one to see the game evolved in all these years Okay. Last question from the audience. I just one more for Timber, please. Uh, Timber, what's your mindset like at the moment, given it's been a difficult period for you personally and the team, and, and how are you trying to turn it around? Well, to be honest, I think the guys are in good spirits. Um, we've obviously just come from India where, you know, we didn't have the, the best of series, but I think there's still a lot of confidence that we can take throughout our season. Um, in the in the performances that we put together as a team, um, so I mean, I think it's not it's not all doom and gloom for us. You know, we're excited, we're looking forward to to this tournament and how far we can go. Um, probably not a lot of expectation around us as a team again. So I guess for us, we'll be you know flying under the radar. You know, every day um, doing the best that we can, um, prepare as well as we can for the for all the games and. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey as well. Okay, we're going to round it off with um, just two quick questions from up here as well, Shakib. I'd love to just get your thoughts. You've just been in New Zealand for the Tri Series, coming off the back of the Asia Cup as well. A couple of changes to your squad. What can we expect? What kind of style of play can we expect from Bangladesh in this World Cup? I think we've got a very good, um, exciting team. Um, most of our new, uh, so it will be a great experience for them. All of us are playing G20 International first time in Australia, <laughs> including me. <laughs> so that's a new. Uh, but uh, you know, uh, I think we prepared uh, very well. Uh, we were in Christchurch where we played four games uh, uh, against two very good sides. So we know what are the things that we need to do, you know, to to be able to uh, perform well here in Australia. And I think we are prepared enough, you know, to do well. I didn't realise it was your first game in Australia for T20. Yes. Well, oh, there you go. And I've been playing for. Put that down in my notes for commentary. That's brilliant. <laughs> um, and last one for you, Andrew. You've, you've played over 20 T20 internationals in the last 12 months. That is some fantastic preparation. Do you feel as if the Ireland team is, is finely tuned and you're happy with the preparation coming in? Yeah, I think so. After last year's disappointment, we kind of had a bit of a rejig. We had a new coach and a, a couple of new players come in, and a couple of senior players drop out. And we've we've tried to go out and play a certain way that excites people and we haven't really got the results we've we've craved but we've run some pretty good teams close uh, so going into this World Cup we certainly have a lot of games and experience in the bank but the games come so thick and fast particularly in that group um, that early stage so we need to hit the ground running once Monday comes. Yep. You have to hit the ground running, everyone has to hit the ground running. Uh, can we please thank the second bunch of our eight captains for joining us today fellas, thank you so much. I will leave you, you can uh, head on down. Thank you so much. Actually, waiting, pausing. You can still stand, Bubba, because it was, uh, it was announced a little bit earlier that we do have a special day today. Aaron Finch is going to present Bubba with a happy birthday cake. Now, we're, most of us in this room are Australian, so I will not ask anyone to sing because that is not our thing. But uh, we will give him a round of applause. Happy birthday, Bubba. Thank you. Thank you so much. Freshly made today by Aaron Finch. What yeah, flavour? No idea. No idea what flavour it is, but I'm sure it'll be very, very nice indeed. <laughs> Baba, thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Thank you to our eight captains as well. Um, I'll allow you guys... Just actually, I might get you guys to sit there because we'll wrap things up very quickly indeed. I think most importantly now, the most...
important thing for everyone to do is set your alarms because at 3 p.m. tomorrow, Australian Eastern Daylight Savings Time, uh, you don't want to miss the first ball of the ICC Men's T20 World Cup. And if you're like me, don't set it for 3 p.m. Set it for about 1 p.m. because you want to get involved with all the build-up as well. Um, I would like to remind journalists today, just at the end here, you do have an opportunity to have a chat to Aaron Finch and we'll just have that um, off-centre here as well. Uh, the attention is mostly on players and fans for, for World Cups when they come around, and, and rightly so as well. But to everyone within the media contingent, have a wonderful time in Australia. I hope you uh, enjoy a little bit of cricket, most definitely, but also everything that Australia has to offer as well. Um, so thank you to the media for turning up today. Thank you to the eight captains here and the eight captains behind the stage as well. All the very best for all teams within this World Cup, and I hope everyone has a wonderful time in Australia. Thank you so much.